Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab. In this lecture, we will walk you through step-by-step -step procedure of migrating a virtual machine having a CD-ROM attached to it. In previous versions of vSphere, you would have noticed that migration never used to happen when virtual machine is having a CD-ROM attached to it. But in the vSphere 7 and the later version, VMware provided a support of migrating a virtual machine having a CD-ROM attached to it. So that's a new capability what has been introduced in the latest version of vSphere. And that's the capability what we are going to demonstrate to you in this particular lecture. So with that, let's get started. Now, as you could see that this is our vCenter server. FQDN is savcsa01.lab.local. So let's log into our vCenter server with the administrator credentials. So let's provide the username as administrator at the rate of vSphere.local. Click here to log in and let's log into our vCenter server. As you could see that we are successfully logged into our vCenter server and the username is administrator at the rate of vSphere.local. Now let's browse through our data center. This is our ESXi host, SA ESXi01, running a version 8.0. This is our another ESXi host, SA ESXi02, and this is also running the same version 8.0.1. Let's browse to our ESXi host and we do see a bunch of VMs which are running on that ESXi host. Let's browse to our ESXi02 and you do see that there's a one VM which is running on our SA ESXi02. Now for this particular demonstration purpose, we are actually going to refer a virtual machine named as WinVM. So this is our Windows virtual machine. What we are going to refer it when we perform migrating virtual machine with the CD-ROM attached to it. So let's go and click on this virtual machine. Let's click on web console of that particular VM and let's log into this virtual machine. Let's provide the credential of that virtual machine. And as you could see that this is our Windows virtual machine. And if you really see that this virtual machine should be having some CD-ROM attached to it. So now this is the, the ISO what we have attached to this particular VM. Now one of the thing you might have noticed that when you click on that virtual machine, you get two different options, launch web console and launch remote console. Now, whenever you want to attach a CD-ROM ISO, we always use it VMRC console, that is virtual machine remote console, right? So what we have to do, we have to attach a new CD-ROM to this virtual machine using a VMRC console. And for that VMRC console, we have to make sure that we need to have a VMRC bits to be installed on our system. So when I click on launch remote console, you will see that look at that what error is give. The error it gives us that the address was not understood and the VMRC is not associated with any program, which means that it's saying that you don't have a VMRC application running in that system because of which it is unable to launch the VMRC console, which is virtual machine remote console. But by default, you can always go and launch web console. So whenever we click on this particular section, or we can or we click on web console it always launch the web console but for the attaching the cd rom iso we actually need vmrc console by default it won't be available so you have to go to vmware website so as you could see that this is vmware website customerconnect.vmware.com and there you will see vmrc console bits you need to download this vmrc console bits either for windows or linux based on your environment so now because we are running because we are accessing our vCenter server from a Windows machine. So we are going to install VMRC console for Windows. You can download the bits from this particular website. Now in our system, we have already downloaded VMRC bits as you could see that. So we have to go and install this VMRC bits before we go and try to access this VM using VMRC console and try to get rid of this particular error. So let's go and install VMRC bits on our system. And as you could see that it clearly shows us that it's a VMware remote console. Now installation of VMRC is pretty straightforward. As you could see that click on next, accept the license agreement, click on next, click on next. We don't need uh, updates about this product or we don't want to use CIP as of now. So let's click on next, click on install and you will see that within a, a few minutes, the VMRC console will be installed. So now as you could see that, took even less than a one minute to install the remote console. So now we are pretty good to get started accessing our virtual machine from 
VMRC console. And now you will see that now if we try to access VM using VMRC console, this error will go away. So now let's go and go back to VM. And this time we are actually going to access our virtual machine using remote console. When you look at this icon, it clearly tells us that use VMRC console to connect to client devices and access advanced keyboard features, right? That's what VMRC console is all about it. So now let's click on launch remote console and you will see that now look at that. It's not throwing you that error, which we were seeing it earlier. The reason is that now VMRC bits are present in our system now. Now let's log into the Windows VM once again. Let's provide the password of administrator user. And this is our Windows machine. Now let's say we want to attach ISO or CD DVD drive to this machine. So that's where you click on VMRC removable devices and that's where we have an option of CD drive. You have an option of floppy drive as well. So you can attach CD drive, you can attach floppy drive. So let's go and we, we actually go and select let's say some ISO image to it. So click on CD drive, connect to disk image file and let's say there is a uh, what we file having is open filer. So let's go and select this particular file to our ISO and look at that. This is your ISO file, what we have attached to our virtual machine CD DVD drive, as you could see that. So now if you click on removable devices, click on CD drive, and do you see that connect option, which means that we have successfully attached ISO image to the CD DVD drive of that virtual machine. Now what we are going to do, we are going to migrate this VM in the same state where we will see that even if the VM is being migrated, we can actually go and access all of these CD DVD files. So let's go back to our vCenter server and let's go and try to migrate that VM. Before we migrate a VM, we just need to make sure that VM, both of the hosts are having access to the data store. So click on data store and you could see that this VM is having a shared data store and that is going to be our destination host where this VM will be migrated to. And if you click on data store, this host is also having access to the same data store, which means that we do not need to perform vMotion of virtual machine host as well as the underlying storage. So because we have kept the VM's files on a shared data store, so we are just going to perform a compute only migration. So this is the time for us to let's go and trigger the migration. Let's open up the task pane, right click on that VM, click on migrate. Currently this VM is running on SAESXI01 host. So we are going to migrate it to SAESXI02 host because we are doing migration at the host level, that's the reason we are going to select the very first option where virtual machine host will be changing, not the underlying data store. So change compute resource only, click on next and let's select our destination host. And if you really see that, look at that compatibility checks succeeded. Click on next, select the network. So we are going to use the same network. Let's select default priority option, click on finish. And now if you really see that your virtual machine migration process have triggered, you go to your VM and try to access the files and you will see that you can actually go and access the virtual machine files. I can actually go and click on any of the folder and I can actually go and access those files which are present in that CD DVD drive. And you do see that, look at that. Your VM has been successfully migrated from SAESXI01 host to SAESXI02 host. And then if you look at the ISO file, what this VM is having it, these files are also attached and we are able to access the same uh, uh, files which are attached to the CD DVD drive of that VM. You go to VMRC console and look at that. None of the media drive has been disconnected during this migration option. Now, if you recall your previous version of vSphere like 6.5, 6.7 or maybe like 5 version, you would have seen that VMware never used to support this kind of migration. But now with the latest version, VMware gives us a capability of migrating a virtual machine having a CD DVD drive attached to it. So now this concludes our discussion on how do you migrate a VM having a CD DVD drive attached to it. If you have interest in learning VMware more in depth, not from an administration perspective, but from the architect or consulting perspective, then join our VMware vSphere Zero to Hero Data Center Expert Program this particular program has been highly rated by all of our learners. 100 plus careers have been transitioned successfully with our Zero to Hero Data Center Expert Deep Dive program with the 100% placement record. Now, what are the key highlights of this program? As you could see that it's India's first 
job ready VMware learning program which has a 70 hours of intense learning with the 80 plus hands on labs 40 plus scenarios would be presented to a learner as a challenge questions to assess their learning. We do have a mentors having a 15 years of experience and the certified professionals. You would be getting opportunity to have a one on one in person doubt clarification session with the VMware mentor and this particular zero to hero program will also preparing learners for L3 or senior level profiles. Now we have transitioned many careers with our deep dive program and you can see some of the feedbacks right here on your screen. These are the feedbacks what we have received from all of our successful learners who has transitioned their career with us. So what are you waiting for? If you want to become VMware expert or want to master this technology, then call us now today on the given number or maybe drop us email on the provided email address. Thank you.